<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Scumbags must still be around. Come on. Come on. Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches. If you want to run a gang, you outlaw, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area. Nobody's in the shed.
That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. There's one of them. You can still run away. Enjoy this! My God! Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Oh, thank God! You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Hell no. What can I say, partner? Can I have this?
him to the south. But then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You fucking men. You ain't nothing. You just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Let's go. Get on your horse, boy. All right, let's find those bastards. Come on. Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Oh. Eyes up! You see that? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Make our stand here. Stay in cover and watch your head. I hope you got money for a funeral. Still moving, or am I done here? Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. 
Forgive me, friend. you 